are beautiful sunny Florida just arrived last night on Friday night and we're staying here at the Hampton Inn which is close to the airport we kind of like it it's on uh, TGD Boulevard TG Lee Boulevard it's walking distance like the Denny's and Chili's and a bunch of other places over here they have an airport shuttle it's included it's free um, and they also have a lot of the pickups that go down to the cruise ship terminal. So tomorrow we're boarding, or actually this morning, we're boarding the uh, Carnival Mardi Gras to spend a full week, eight days actually, uh, over Christmas, enjoying Christmas with the family on the Carnival Mardi Gras, uh, cruising to some cr great destinations. And uh, this is uh, kind of day one, embarking day. And so we'll give some videos on how the embarkation goes um, show you that process uh, if you're thinking about doing a cruise at Christmas what's it like how is the new Carnival Mardi Gras cruise ship um, all of these different things we're gonna shoot some video and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it so anyway we're at Hampton we already loaded my son we had too many people so we loaded my son on a transportation we used a, one that's called Danica transport and I can include that in the link below um, it was $25 each way to the port and they'll take you right to the cruise ship. So they just picked him up about 10.45 a.m. this morning. And uh, they said it's about a 45 to 60 minute drive down to the cruise ship port. Anyway, we've got a vehicle since uh, my daughter's been living down here working at Disney. So we're gonna take our car, little Hyundai right here, loaded to the hilt with five of us and five people's luggage in that little thing. I think we're about bottomed out, uh, but uh, we're gonna, Head down for a fabulous week here in Florida. It is probably 75 degrees right now, and uh, I'm sure it's going to hit into the mid 80s by the end of the day. So, look forward to my review on Carnival Mardi Gras. Welcome to sunny Florida. We're parking here at Park Port Canaveral and it's actually really affordable. It's like five minutes from like where you board the cruise ship. It's called a Carnival Mardi Gras and so forth. And I think it came out for an eight day cruise. We're like $85 or something like that for the full, full week. And they have shuttles that take you right over to the cruise ship. We actually went and dropped our luggage off. And then came back so we just got our backpacks but uh, it's a nice parking lot and yeah. seems pretty affordable I mean $85 for an eight-day cruise is really inexpensive there was a code I think online I used escape or something and it saved me $50 so anyway we're jumping on our shuttle now heading over to the Mardi Gras Welcome aboard the Mardi Gras. Coming on. All right. First glimpse. First glimpse. Friends are young. This is it. 
cool? Alright, here we are. Carnival Mardi Gras. Just got on the ship. Our luggage should show up in our room here shortly. But uh, we're just gonna go get a bite to eat, take a few photos, check out this boat. So it's gonna be a cool week. Little tip is avoid the elevators down on the lower floors. So, especially right now, it's so crowded. All right, we made it to our stateroom. We're on the ninth floor of this massive ship. Right off the bat, the room. I think the room's a little bit smaller than what I've had on other ships. And I'm a platinum sailor, so I've been on a lot of ships, but this thing is, these overheads a little bit narrow, you know, to get on the bed. You gotta climb in from here to get to your bed. So this is probably the smallest room I think I've ever been on a cruise ship. But we're in inside cabin, we booked last minute. Not a lot of opportunities. We needed three cabins to get our kids close to us, and so we ended up ninth floor. Hand carried on the uh, Coke Zero. Um, you can do that. A little bit of a pain, but anyway. Room's pretty small, a lot of closet space though. One thing I did notice right away, this is the biggest monitor or television I've seen on a, on a Carnival cruise ship. I've been on a lot of them. This is probably like my 20th cruise or something, but this is the largest by far. So overall, I mean, it's decent, bathroom, Wow, they actually got rid of uh, the uh, curtain. The curtain. They used to have a curtain here. You came and used the bathroom, and they actually got a, a glass, and the shower seems a little larger than what I've seen. But uh, is it going to work? You bet. We're on a cruise ship, and going to enjoy Christmas with the family here. So, but anyway, closet, a lot of closet space. I noticed that right away. So if you got a lot of hangups, a lot of, a lot of uh, hangers, Shelves, get your safe. I haven't seen this before. Nice little racks to put some things in. So plenty of storage space. I just kind of wish the cabin was just a little bit wider. So getting in and out of the bed was a little less challenging. Maybe it's just these in the way, but it is what it is. And we're looking forward to it. It has USB chargers on the side of the bed. I've already plugged in over there and uh, little night lights. So. It'll do the job for us. This is guest services. The line is massive for guest guest services today. So, first day on board, and a little disappointing that so many people are already in lines for guest services. But happen to be diamond or platinum or in sweets your line's a little bit shorter but otherwise uh this is a mess a lot of a lot of people for about uh five or six people working at guest services so it'll take a while if you have any issues if you don't have any issues don't worry about it just go right to your room and then one one of these some of that can i do uh, what else? Nothing for me. Thank you. Maybe some, uh, let's see. No, let's go with the, uh, let's try the baked beans. Molasses baked beans. Okay, thank you so much. Sauces? Okay. So what's in the side? You want one or two? First meal's pig and anchor. Whole pork, beef brisket, sausage, and whatever these beans are. I don't know. Is it average? What do you think? It's pretty average. I don't know if I'd get it again. It's not like R and R barbecue. Dang it. So this is So if you want soda, 21 cents an ounce, go at it. The drinks are actually included. 
So they have lemonade and tea. Chocolates and perlitic. What? Big chicken. Wait, I wanna put my hands on his hands. Sheesh! All right, that's a big, big hand. That's crazy. Want to do it, Bess? because they actually have these uh, see-through see doors as you're going down different levels. Um, elevators are pretty pretty busy, but there's three different uh, areas that has uh, elevators on the ship. Front of the ship, back of the ship, and mid -ship. All right, here we are on deck six. I think we're actually close. No. Hey! Should be getting some pictures. That's a beautiful background. Where's that, San Juan? Yeah, San Juan. San Juan. All right, walking into the Palm Restaurant. Got a mask up here. You can see everybody coming in and out. Who's wearing their masks? So I'm masking up. Head into our table. A lot of people really dressed up tonight, like you. I didn't really dress up. We even got some suits and jackets. Okay, I got me looking kind of like just rolled in. How many, have you had today? How many lobsters you had, Ryan? Says five and a half. Five and a half. Uh -huh. That's like his six lobster. I do have one. One bite. One, one bite. Three, one, six. How many did you have, Lise? A couple? I had six lobsters. I had the prime rib. Yeah, it was okay. But I didn't have a lobster, and the lobster was pretty good. So I think on this table we probably ate like 10 lobsters tonight. 
so. Only we ate ten lobsters, Dad. Probably. Me and Grandma had nine. Grandma had three lobsters. Me and Grandma had nine. He had nine. Yeah, we ten. Ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. We had thirteen lobsters on our table tonight. I think our server is probably loving us. We keep eating all these lobsters. Yep. It's all good though. I'll we'll give him a good tip at the end. All right. So this is my wrap up from our recent carnival. Mardi Gras cruise for Christmas. So we've been back a few weeks now and I just wanted to give you a wrap up vid video to give you some ideas of uh, what it's like to be on a cruise at Christmas time and really what a little bit about the Carnival Mardi Gras, the newest ship that's in the Carnival fleet that started sailing last summer. So it's only been out for uh, like six months when we went on it so we were pretty pretty new on it. In fact that cruise was the the only cruise that they've had since they started sailing again that was booked fully 100% capacity so a uh, very crowded ship um, but it was also a beautiful beautiful ship wonderful ship so uh, Carnival Mardi Gras if you're, cho you're choosing a Carnival ship that you want to go on a cruise um, consider the Carnival Mardi Gras it is the newest in the fleet it's got the best shows in the fleet it's got the best entertainment in the fleet. Um, it's got a roller coaster. It's got everything. And uh, we're really, really happy with the Carnival Mardi Gras. And I'll give you some more information that maybe helps you change your mind or helps you make up your mind. Um, a couple things, though, going on a cruise at Christmas. So I had my doubts a little bit whether going on a cruise at Christmas time was, was the right thing to do. But my kids are a little older now, so... Um, I can tell you this, from the time you leave your house, you're surrounded by your wife, your kids, and one-on-one -on -one time from sunup to sundown, eating meals together, going to the shows together, um, just hanging out, playing games together, mini golf together, pool, swimming, spa, gym, everything. You're just engulfed with your family on these trips, and this one was really... I, you know, I was a little worried about if we'd have the Christmas spirit or how that would be. But from the second you get on board the Carnival Mardi Gras, everything was decorated beautifully. Christmas lights, Christmas trees, Christmas decorations, Christmas music. And it really set the tone for a wonderful week to really focus on Christmas and to enjoy the Christmas spirit. Um, I can tell you this, that... Uh, you know, even the carnival uh, on midnight, they had a midnight mass Christmas Eve that was wonderful. Uh, it was a non-denominational, but we had prayers, we sung Christmas hymns, we had speakers, and it really set the tone for Christmas Eve and Christmas morning, and it was a wonderful experience. Everybody on Christmas morning wearing their pajamas, going to brunch, and Santa Claus hats, and everything else, and so you're surrounded by Christmas. And uh, so if you're thinking you might lose the Christmas spirit, no way. And not, not unless you force yourself to do so. Because you walk down the halls and people have decorated their doors with Christmas lights and tinsel and decorations. And everywhere you go, the Christmas spirit. So anyway, uh, two thumbs up from me on Christmas cruising. Uh, we loved it and uh, we're looking forward to do it again. We may do something different next year, but it was wonderful. Um, so anyway, if you're getting ready to go on board the ship and you wanna, you're thinking you need the internet, make sure you book the highest internet package, the top tier. Otherwise, you're going to have some issues. We even had, we booked the top tier. We, we bought uh, two packages that we shared between the six of us. And uh, you bump each other off occasionally because you only have one device on each internet package. So those two packages were shared between six of us. We bought the highest level. And even then, we did have some issues with streaming or FaceTime, you know, slightly lagged and so forth. So, by the highest. Second thing is make sure you download the Carnival app. Carnival app is going to give you information on everything that's going on on board, every show, what time's your meals, all the menus for the restaurants, all the activities, what time you need to be on board the ship when you're in port. All of those things are contained in the app. 
And so make sure you download the app. You can set up a schedule for your daily routines. You can share it. You see which one in your group who has also selected those same shows. If you're going to a comedian, you might see that two or three in your group have booked or you know put that on their schedule. So it ties together. It's really cool. Uh, the one thing that we liked also on that is in the, within the app is the messaging function. They do charge a little extra. It's five dollars per person for the messaging function. But <clears throat> that allowed us to kind of connect when we did different things. We were able to use that messaging function to say, hey, we're going to go have lunch here, or hey, we're going to be up by the pool sitting in this area. And so we use the messaging function a lot. The only drawback was is the group chat or the group setup was not functioning. And according to customer service on board, uh, they said that it has worked in the times past, but they were having some issues with it. So you had to send multiple texts rather than one group text. And so hopefully that's working if you happen to be on a carnival ship soon. Um, secondly, on the Carnival Mardi Gras, I can flat out tell you the best shows we've ever seen on any ship. And I've been on all the major cruise lines. But the show, shows, the quality, uh, all the activities going on, the acrobatics, everything, the music was just top notch. We enjoyed center stage every night. Um, at least for one or two shows. And then we'd also go to the Carnival Theater for shows as well. And so we had a hard time balancing dinner and meals and getting ready for dinner and shows and comedians. And so we, we saw a lot of everything throughout the cruise. Um, missed a lot, but we, we saw probably our fair share of almost every show. And I can tell you they're great. Um, another thing is that uh, Carnival Mardi Gras has going for it is food. The food on board, they have every kind of food you would want, you know, all your traditional stuff. Uh, the only thing that they were missing from the traditional, they were missing the deli, the Carnival Deli, and we kind of like that because you go make a Reuben sandwich or something like that. And they were also missing the uh, the walk, uh, the Mongolian walk or something is what they would call it, and we, they were missing that, and I kind of like those two places actually, but uh, they didn't have them. But they have the newest and the greatest on board a ship is Big Chicken. And we called it Shaq's Chicken because uh, there's a few of those uh, on land. I think Atlanta has one and I think somewhere in California may have one. So you're going to start seeing those popping up. But this is the first on board a cruise ship. So Big Chicken, great chicken. Really, really awesome. Become one of our favorites. My wife, I think, went there nearly every day we were on board. I'm still partial to Guy's Burgers, so I did Guy's Burgers uh, a little more than Big Chicken. And I also did Pig and Anchor, Guy's Pig and Anchor, a couple times because I'm a barbecue guy. And uh, it's pretty good. Um, give it a try. Um, on uh, I think it's on the, the Sea Days. It is, I believe it's indoors. And then on the, the Shore Days, I think they have a little outdoor section of, of Guy's Pig and Anchor. Or the other way around. Um, but it's really great. It's kind of connected to the sports bar and the sports bar for me was was not the greatest. It was average. Um, they have a very limited amount of channels and we were there during the college bowl season so I was trying to watch some of the bowl games and I couldn't get them in the room. Went to the sports bar and said hey can we get these games and they only have a very limited amount of channels almost the same as you had in the room. So we weren't able to get uh, several of the bowl games and uh, could get like the NBA basketball games. I tried to watch a few of those as well. And uh, so the sports bar it was okay. Casino seemed to be really active on board. We're not uh, gamblers or anything, but you walk through the casino and there seems like a ton of activity going on in there. Very large casino if that's your thing. Um, I don't think you can go wrong on the Carnival Mardi Gras. I think they got you covered with whatever you want to do in the casino. They have you covered. Um, and then as far as the activities on board, the mini golf, we really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed the roller coaster. And that's another one. If you want to go on the roller coaster, make sure you book it early because it does get booked out throughout the day. Um, and if the wind's blowing or, you know, different things, they'll shut down. So if you want to go on the roller coaster, I think it was $15 per person. Make sure you book it. It's a pretty fun coaster. It's short couple times around the track, but it was really cool. Mini golf's fun. Um, the kids park up. The, the normal water slides, they've got a few extra slides. Um, the water park has got the big spill bucket. 
and uh, a lot of fun. So there's always something to do on the Carnival ships. The Cloud Nine Spa is really quiet and chilled. Um, and the only thing I probably didn't like was the gymnasium. It, it was really hot and humid in there all the time. And also they make you wear them, your mask the whole time you're in the gym pretty much. And sometimes when you're breathing hard and trying to catch your breath, you're wearing your mask and it was a little crowded. And uh, also one of the other disadvantages on the Carnival Mardi Gras, they don't have a steam room and sauna that you can just go to. It's part of the spa now. So if you want to do a steam room or sauna, you've got to buy a spa package. That's too bad because I really enjoy just going into, you know, after a workout or after being in, on port for the day, coming back and going and, you know, sitting in the steam room or the sauna or something like that. And so they, they've got rid of that, which is a shame because I really enjoyed it. Um, but And I didn't, we didn't do the spa. I didn't even find out the cost for it, but it's probably still reasonable. And they may have some packages that allows you to do the steam room and sauna. But I was kind of sad they didn't have that. Also, in terms of food, our favorite food was shebang. It, it was free up till I think this month, and I think they're going to start charging for it moving forward. It's going to be a slight up charge, but shebang was phenomenal. We went there twice, and both times the service, the food quality, the atmosphere was wonderful. So I can't say enough good things about shebang. Great. The bonsai sushi, bonsai teriyaki, those are both a slight up charge. Really, really good. Make sure you book bonsai teriyaki early if that's what you want to do because that will book out. They don't have that many tables and uh, it'll probably book out first day. So if you want to do bonsai teriyaki, make sure you book it the first day. Overall, um, just wonderful cruise. Can't give it a uh, thumbs up high enough. And then the second part of this video will be a little bit more on the ports that we had went to, what we did in the ports, a little bit more on the boat, but uh, there will be a part two of this. And so hopefully this is helpful, gives you some information. If it does, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. We'll continue to get content out. We've got a couple cool vacations planned and uh, hopefully this is helpful. So with that, have a great day. Two of you will be connected through synchronicity. Okay. <laughs> One hundred of you will have the magic happen right in your hands. I'll do it. <laughs> Tonight, the unexplained will happen to you.